How's your arm? A little stiff, but okay. How's your back? Fine. What do you think we'll find in Kuakyaku? Running water would be nice. I think at this point, I'd settle for no jaguars. <laughs> There's a road. Let's check it out. What's going on? Shit, Trinity, get down. Damn. Truck stuck. I can see that. What are we doing about Follow it? Follow my lead. How the hell am I supposed to know? What are you doing? Get back. Hide. You're the logistics guy, aren't you? I'm not the one who drove onto a rotting bridge. Oh, hold up! I got him! Hold on, they're friendlies. Keep your eyes open. So much check back there. I'll do it. Put it right there. Make sure nothing can get through. I want this whole area sealed off. Yes, sir! If there's anything here, we're gonna find it. When's the last time this thing was serviced? This is rusty. Don't get distracted, Mendez. What are we looking for here? Anything that moves. Anything that doesn't. They still didn't find that relic. I'd love to be the guy that does. Not me. Why not? You'd be a hero. I'll be dead, more likely. No thanks. I'll keep sitting here looking for hostiles. Less talking, more looking, gentlemen. Get off your asses. Yes, sir. Quiet. What's your team doing? I'll check. We're not paying them to sightsee. We'll have to go under. Yeah. We know there's the main temple. What we're looking for is any smaller ruins Wait. we might have missed before. Okay. It's really wedged in there. I'm afraid if we move it, we'll lose it. We're gonna have to reinforce the bridge. It'll be tough to find something to brace against. So why didn't you test the bridge like I told you? Oh, I'm pretty sure we did test the bridge first. Fuck off. I'm not covering for you. Maybe we can pull it out. Okay, maybe. Let me think about that. We can take them. All right. You go left. I'll take these guys. What in God? Hide. Hey, Sammy. Oh, those guys. I told them to test the bridge first. Son of a... Dave! Dave! No, you don't! Fuck you! Stop! Thanks. You okay? Yeah. Take this. I hope that's the last of them. Close. Yeah. How'd they know to come here? I don't know. Not exactly the civilization I was hoping to run into. Ugh, my arm is so itchy. That means it's healing. I might have liked it better when it was injured. Oh, I know. I'm just trying not to think about my back. You know. My grandmother survived a tsunami in the 60s. What happened? She lost friends. Her family lost their business. But after that, 
She could feel things coming. Volcanic eruptions, storms, other things. What was your mother like? You don't talk about her as much. She was creative, adventurous. I think she was probably the glue that kept us together. After her death, it was more lonely. Come on, let's go. Any idea what the twins in that riddle are? Could be anything. A pair of monuments or mountains or streams. I suppose we'll know it when we see it. Yeah. I see people down there. Hope they're friendly. I'll let you do the talking. Do you know if there's a place nearby we can stay for the night? How'd you get so deep into the jungle? You lose your tour group or something? <laughs> no. There were some guys here before, looking for artifacts. You with them? Trinity. Definitely not. Uh, I need a break anyway. Come with me. I'm sorry to ask so many questions, but the only B&B in town is my place. Well, you can't be too careful. By the way, I'm Jonah. Abby. Lara. Come in, have a seat. Carlos, three. <sighs> so... What are you here for exactly? Well, we were following a riddle when our plane went down. You mean it crashed? Yeah. <laughs> and you just walked out of the crash? Uh, well, you know, it was cruising pretty low. We are looking for Maya ruins. Maya? You know you're in Peru, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Long story. Oh. Thanks. Well, you don't seem like a typical archaeologist. Oh, she's the archaeologist. I'm, I'm just a cook. Really? Yeah. Have you tried any of our local ceviche yet? It's a specialty. <laughs> Not unless it grows in the jungle. No. Don't tell me you missed our famous fish trees. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you take this? Um, Mexico. Why? No, oh, I've seen this symbol before. Wow. There are some ruins nearby, and a small rock with something like this carved on it. Do you mind if I take a look around? Oh, be my guest, but I guarantee they're not Mayan. My people were Inca and proud of it. Oh, uh, uh, why don't you rest for a while? Are you sure? I promised you a day off. Well, I'm not going to say no to that. Have fun. You too. <laughs> so, are you and Lara... Friends. Colleagues. She's brilliant. Hmm. So, you're not... Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Nothing like that. No, I'm, uh, pretty single. Interesting. New here, eh? Get used to doing a lot of nothing. Although drinking and sweating helps to break up the day. You're not a local? No, I work a ship that blew into some rocks just outside town. Storm came out of nowhere, sunk the damn thing. My ancestors, a long way back. And then they were kidnapped. You want to make a deal? Huh. Ah, hello. Are you here with the excavation team? No, just passing through. Okay. If you need anything, the market's in the middle of town. You can resupply before you move on. Thank you. My pleasure.
two years I've been working up to never to ask her out. I finally do, and now, who is that guy anyway? Hey, you want to know your way around Kuakiaku? Just ask me. Are you the local tour guide? Mm, I know where to go, and who to steer you clear of. I see. Best fish is on the dock, obviously. Tacos are best at El Licor de Cerdo, but his beer is piss warm. <laughs> I'll watch out for that. Oh, and Nomar, stay away from that guy. You don't need his kind of trouble. Thinks he can just come to town and take what he wants. Right. Well, I'll be sure to keep an eye out for trouble. <laughs> keep them both open. Omar, uh -huh. they've been working all night. And? Isn't that what they're paid for? Get lost. It's on. Shit, no. Now fuck off and let me watch the damn game. What is that? Sure would be great to get these thieves out of here. Everything all right? No. It's all terrible, as usual. These pillagers come to town, hire us to dig up our own relics, don't even pay us a living wage. And then they run off with them and profit. We are all desperate here. There's no work since poor Veneer pulled out. We're sitting ducks. And I imagine the storm hasn't helped matters. <laughs> what little we had is gone or underwater. I don't know what to do anymore. I have some experience with these kinds of people. Maybe I can help. I don't know what good it'll do. Did I catch your name? Lara. I'm Victor. If you want to talk to Omar, the executive lead tormentor in charge of theft and pillaging, he's in there. Thanks. Be careful. He doesn't like to be challenged. Piss him uh -huh. off, you. So are you. you. Looking for work? Um... Well, you're out of luck. We have enough people. Marco's in charge of HR now anyway. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, thank you. Do you know where he is? Where else? The bar. Piss off, you're spoiling the reception. I don't know how they can gossip so cheerfully when we've lost so much. I'm sorry. Wait, you're not Mariela. No, I'm just, uh, so sorry to bother you. I've got some stuff to trade if you're looking. Hello? Let me guess, Omar sent you to shake me down? Well, I'm not giving that bastard anything. What are you talking about? What am I... I'm sorry. I, I saw that knife and gone and figured... Yeah, never mind. You looking for anything in particular or just browsing? What do you have? What do I have? This is Kuwaki Yaku, one of the greatest archaeological sites in South America. Well, it could be. It should be. If it weren't for pillagers? Exactly. Omar and his thugs are after money, not history. I have items of cultural significance for sale. They may be damaged, but they're worth restoring. Let me show you what I have. I'm always ready to do business. Do you have anything you want to trade? Jonah, I found Incan ruins, but I think the foundation of the temple is older. Yeah, Abby remembered where she saw that symbol. It's inside the temple somewhere. Great. Tell her thank you for me. I'm right here. You can thank me by not breaking anything. <laughs> I'll be right there, Lara. Kony Rea, the Incan god of the moon. He was relatively low in status, so he didn't have a mate. This tells the story of how he reshaped his sperm into the form of a fruit, which impregnated the goddess Kavirka when she ate it. <laughs> his pregnancy came as quite a surprise since Kavirka was a virgin. But when her son was born, the boy immediately solved the question of his paternity by crawling right towards Kony Rea. Kafirka was so humiliated by Kony Rea's low standing that she fled with her son to Peru, where they turned into coastal rocks. I can hear them calling from under the earth. 
the voices, the old gods. Maybe you just need to rest. No. See for yourself. See where the breath of the gods rises from the womb of the earth. Listen to their pained howls. I have noticed that. Where is this breath? You'll see. You'll hear it. Perhaps you can ease their suffering. Miss Ortiz, thank you for your recent inquiry. A water quality index, WQI, was calculated for river sites surrounding the village of Kuakyaku from the samples you provided. Haven't seen you around here before. I just got in, but I won't be staying long. <laughs> Don't let how it looks fool you. This is a good place. Difficult, but good. Your garden seems to have survived the storm. Hmm. Luck and hard work. A lot of people pitched in to grow it, so they all came to protect it too. This village was once under the wing and watchful eye of the condor. But we let the eagle chase her away. I'm not sure I understand. Ah, neither do I. We lost ourselves in our pursuit of things. Thought we'd be happier with coins in our pockets. But the eagle took that away as well. Traditionally woven from fabric and stuffed with reeds and grains, the burial dolls are frequently shown holding something in their hand, like a musical instrument or a ball of yarn. In this instance, the doll is holding a toddler, perhaps signifying that the deceased was a mother. Don't get many tourists through here. Oh, I'm not a tourist. I mean, I'm a researcher. Oh. Oh. Well, still... Wish you could have seen this place 20 years ago. It was booming, vibrant, full of life, and so optimistic for the future. Pfft, optimistic. Gullible more like it. What happened? Porvenir happened. Big oil company out of Lima. They came in here, bought up the town, gave everyone jobs. They even planned to build condominiums across the river there. Until the bottom fell out. The oil crash. Now we limp by on the scraps they left behind. Shame you're not a tourist. Tourists bring money. Archaeologists just take. I've been doing some research, and I think we might be able to set ourselves up with a homemade refinery. It's going to be a lot of work, though, and I can't do it alone. Always nice to see fresh faces in town. Good for the mind to know that our little corner of the world isn't forgotten. Also good for the wallet, if you'd maybe take a look at what we have for sale up at the general store. The jungle takes what it wants. Hard to get it to give up its secrets. But I found one, I think. You have? The village has many layers. You peel one back and find another. And another. It does seem to have quite the history. Sometimes I wonder if it hasn't been here in one way or another since the beginning of time. You seem different than the others. Which others? All of them. Men looking for oil, gold... Taking whatever they can. Continue to restrict the distribution of supplies. When we come through the area, it's better for everyone if your people are more concerned with their next meal or their child's fever, rather than with what's happening outside the village. <laughs> I'm sorry, do I know you? Sorry, I didn't realize this is a private residence. <laughs> Gosh, we lost a lot, but I didn't realize it was that bad. I really didn't mean to. I know you didn't. But if you'll excuse us, we have a lot of work to do. Have you seen my husband or my daughter? I don't think so. Where did you last see them? They spend their nights with the stars, sparkling and waving at me. But in the morning... They travel to the river. Oh. I usually see them shining there. But the storm muddled the waters. I know they're down there. 
I know they are. This describes something nearby. Take a deep breath and find me right under another's nose. There used to be a temple on the island over there, but all that's left is a couple crumbled walls. And one stone pillar, it looks like. That's more a statue than a pillar. Real intricate work. A college professor came out to study it a few years ago. Did he tell you what he learned? He said it didn't make any sense. Was pretty angry about it, too. Said we tried to trick him or something. Bet you've never seen anything like this, huh? This is my last one. Sold the rest to that commander fella. He was a little intense. But hey, he bought all my stock, didn't he? Well, except this one. Runs smooth, never breaks down. It's a real beaut, isn't it? Uh, well... No, I'm serious. My wife here, she hasn't been the same since the accident. But the gentle hum, it helps her relax. I'm glad. I'm looking for Marco. Why? For what? I just want to talk to him. He doesn't want any trouble. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for work. Work? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. So, you're Marco? Tell me Omar didn't send you here to mess with me. If any of those animals hurts my son, I'll... Marco, I'm not with Omar. Believe me. What's this about your son? <sighs> I blew out my knee, so Omar took Pablo to replace me at the dig site. Said I was HR now and that it was my job to find a replacement. Otherwise... Otherwise he'd keep working your son. Yeah. I'm worried he's just gonna keep Pablo up there, even if I bring him someone. Well, it's a good thing you've just hired someone. You? Really? You, you do that? We wouldn't want to disappoint the boss, would we? Thank you. If you see Pablo, please tell him I'm here. Eh. Hey. New here? You should talk to Abigail. She insists on meeting all the newcomers. You mean Abby? We've met. She's been very helpful. Ah, that's our Abigail. Always ready to fix a generator or stop an argument. She's our de facto mayor, unofficial general store owner, half of the volunteer fire department. And trust me, you don't want to get into a fistfight with her. I wonder how she gets all that on her business card. Ah... Uh... Okay, well, uh, good luck with everything. Are you interested in trading? Hey, looks a lot bigger on the outside. What'd you do? <laughs> Try to look. Eshel and Shakshal. The twins come together. <sighs> what is it? Laura, I... What? Abby said not to break anything. I'm not breaking it. Oh. I'm restoring the original. Someone was trying to hide it. <clears throat> the twins come together before following the path of the living. It's been tampered with. Like that thing in Mexico. This must lead to the next clue. Go. I'll stay here. See what else I can find. <sighs> Sounds good.
twins. Life and death. Jonah, I found the temple. Great. Trinity already there, trying to blast their way in. I'm gonna take a closer look. 